Oh crap. <sighs> Let's see here. U.S. Ingersoll. He's got his. This I need to clean that out. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was procrastinating. Uh, he's got his original. Thing. I'm pretty sure that's what his canteen went in. If I'm not mistaken, I can put it in. And I knew that. I knew that. I bet you it hadn't went in there in almost 40 or 50 years. <laughs> I bet you. I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure this video will cut off, and I'm sorry, and I have to do a part two. I bet you it hasn't gone in there since he had his Alice pack on. <laughs> I knew this when it went in. Sorry about that. Um, it's dated. If I can't really see, it's not. No, it's not dated. Say, uh, I don't know what you would. Don't know what you call these. Um, know the Germans kept theirs over like that. Um, we're not talking about them guys right now, though. Um, he's got him. He's got his. I guess this is your mess kit. Um, cause I showed y'all one the other day that was dated 43. Um, and this is just U.S. Ingersoll products, and it says it right there. And, uh, there's just, uh, no place that I know to look. This is his eating utensils, you know. Oh crap. Look, you can do it like that. You know, I don't know. If you got a big spoonful, I don't know. Um, yeah. You know, just kind of. And these are flexible, I guess you would say. I don't know how, like it said, I don't really know how to eat them, eat out of them. But I mean, sure, if I had to, I could. But yeah, it says Echo USA, E K C O. I'm sure, some of you guys, if you're interested, you could comment down below. All right, let's get down. Oh, yeah, and he's got some rope he tied up. I think for come home, he told. Not told me about it, but I'm uh, pretty sure he tied it up. He usually was into a lot of knots when he was bored. And uh, let's see here, I got a butt pack. Butt pack. <laughs> got a butt pack. Uh, it says you guys. Got that nice camisoline smell. And uh, yeah. Looks nice to me. So yeah guys. Haven't opened it up. Don't really know how myself. There's something in there. Wow. Never mind. It's the, it's the waterproof and oh wait yeah it's the waterproof and I opened up one of his army jackets a while back and uh, had five dollars in it <laughs> thought it was pretty cool it, and it had it literally looked like it had been folded for as long as that jacket had up and folded up, and that had at least been 
leaf spin for however long he had had it in the Rubbermaid. But yeah, this is just a butt pack. And uh, that's really all I know right now. Um, <coughs> like I said, this video will probably cut uh, shit. Will probably cut off. Not sure what this is. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, of course, it goes around your waist, but uh, you know, it's just a, you know, not this up here around your waist, but you know, down here. Mm -mm. Got some repros in here. Uh, 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles reproduction. You can tell that for sure. The uh, uh, the dice with the uh, airborne uh, the parachute and the uh, eagle going down that was on their jackets. It's a reproduction. The Corsair uh, 2. It's a reproduction. It was actually sewn on one of my jackets. So that was a reproduction. And that's the last of these that are reproductions. The two sergeant patches that I'm going to show you, I picked up with that first side cap that I showed you guys. Uh, these are not a reproduction. I know they kind of look like it, but they are not. So these are from World War II. Like I said, if anybody wants to comment and be nice about the comments and know what they're talking about or try to help me out, just comment. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying, you know, comment and tell me. Because I always like to know, you know, know more about what I'm, you know, saying wrong or if I'm right. Um, but these are sergeants. Sergeant patches. You, I mean, this one, you can definitely tell. It's, I mean, you know, I mean, it ain't like this one, you know. I mean, this is, has no, like, flexibility to it. And it's not, you know, moving like this one. Or this one. Uh, if you heard me and you see my hat, I said my grandfather was in the 1st Armored Division, 16th Engineers. And you see that says 1st Armored Division, Old Ironsides. You know, you, know, you hear the uh, things in the movies, they always say 2nd Armored Division, 3rd Armored, whatever. He uh, was in the 1st. So, here is his... Uh, patch he had on his jacket yellow blue red first armored so yeah and here's another one of his this is one he kept away for a lot of years it doesn't have that much moving you know flexibility to it it doesn't look like it's real but it, it, it is but the other one, you know, gets you a good look. It's just like my hat. And, uh, it's... yeah. And this is my dad's. It was uh, Air Mobility Command. Took it off one of his jackets a while back. And, uh, that was from Vietnam. Let me get another one out. I brought... Yeah, oh, hold on. I got a uh, ruptured eagle patch, and I'm not sure if it's my dad's or my grandfather's. Hold on, let me move it all the way over. Ruptured eagle. Forgot what they get those for. And I got a P38 can opener. <clears throat> Made in Shelby, Ohio. I want to open it so, so bad. Um, but yeah, it says, open blade, place opener as shown in diagram, twist down to puncture slot and can top inside rim, cut top by advancing opener with rocking motion, take small bites. Well, I'm pretty sure you're not going to take a bite of the freaking can opener. This is 
bullets that have not had a firing pin hit them for sure. And it's bullets that my dad had somehow brought back from Vietnam. I have no idea what they go to. Has no idea. I mean, has no idea. Has, I like I said, I have no idea what they go to. And it has no imprint of what they are. And it's got like a red tracer looking thing on top of it. You know, it's, it, see the kind of painish stuff looking on the top. I have no idea. You want to get you a look at that and see. As, you know, as you can tell enough iron span hit them. But yeah. And it has another link with it. And uh, yeah, yeah. He was a uh, he was a specialist. And this is just a reproduction of a Third Army Division uh, patch that I got. And these are my dog tags I got and I put on here for my grandpa, First Armored Division, U.S. Army. And I put my birth date and name. This is a 22 caliber magazine to a little rifle we had back a while, while back, yeah. And let me slide all this stuff back in. All right, let's get on to the coats. Okay, let's see here. Here's his jacket. I'm not gonna show you the name. Fucking hell. Dang gummit. I don't think it got anything. 41 or four and a half, what? Uh, yeah, 41 by 33. I'd never take this money out. It's the money that was in here. Shirt, men's cotton, satin, olive drab, or olive green shade at 107. <clears throat> but yeah, let's see. U.S. Army. That gamut. See, so regular. U.S. Army Vietnam casual thing. Pretty sure. And it goes with the little hat I just showed you a while back. Little kind of flap cap. And, uh. Yeah what it goes to and this is his field jacket let's see here long medium just from 37 to 41 from 71 and upward stock number looks like it says like I don't know it didn't say much You just sew that book on there. It says coat read, you know. Yeah. Said so the thing I just told you on the other jacket first. 
patent date, 14th of March, 57, date, 18th of September, 58, 1958, Southern Athletic Company, Incorporated, uh, whereas the outer garment in cold, god damn it. Wear alone in mild wear. That's weird sounding like that. Wear alone in mild weather. For cold weather, button and liner. Coat, Mansfield, medium, nineteen fifty one. Tighten waist and skirt drawstrings and sleeve closures for warmth. Loosen to ventilate. Avoid overheating to prevent chilling after exercise. Button, oh, oh, I remember I lost the hood a long ass time ago. I forgot, I didn't even know what the thing was. I remember I used to wear it on my head tack like a ghost oh, when I was real young. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know what that thing was. Button hood on, hood, button on hood for head and face protection. Brush snow and oh gosh, that sounds funny. Where the hell are they gonna have freaking snow in Vietnam? Button on hood for head and snow and oh, button on hood for head and face protection. Brush snow and frost and from garments before entering head heated shelters. Dry garments separately. Do not dry too close to heat. Water repe repellency may be restored by treatment. Lubricate slide fastener with graphite or candle wax. Do not remove this label or you, you know, it just says do not remove this label. I was trying to be funny. But yeah, just hold on, let me slide back. <coughs> it's, uh, hold on guys. Holy shit. You can kind of see. You, you kind of you put even a little paper clip on there for it. Hold on. Put a little paper clip on there because the zipper fell off. Zipper still works great. And uh, it actually fits me and I'm fat ass. Drawstrings still work too. And uh, yeah, it's not missing nothing. Pockets work great. Don't have any holes in it. And uh, it's got some paint stuff on it. He probably wore it when he got back home. It actually is warm. But yeah, that's about it. Um, there's a lot more stuff in here. Videos going on on Muslim Rara. Uh, there's a trench coat in here. I think it's from World War II. Um, have to look at it soon. It's got a blood stain on here. I used to wear it a lot when I was a kid. I'm not going to go on with that trench coat thing. There's a uh, Vietnam poncho in here. <coughs> uh, give me just one second, guys. Let's see here. See here. Let's see. Here's his stuff he would, or bag he would put his stuff in. I guess you know to carry like over his shoulder, as you see a lot of them doing. You know, like doing like that. <coughs> but yeah, it doesn't have any holes in it whatsoever. If I thought I saw something. No, oh, yeah, it doesn't have any holes in it. Drawstrings are perfect. I mean, they're fine. And, uh, yeah. It's perfect. Oh, 
What the heck? But yeah, he's got a poncho in here. I never tried it out. And it's so big, it's ridiculous to even open. But you can tell it's a uh, poncho. Gosh dang. Okay. Oh shit. There's two or three more pants in here. Oh, mother fricker. Okay, I got it. Okay, let's see. Hold on here. Yeah. Fuck. A video's going on 55 minutes. Try to end it up here soon. He's got a tenth in here. I'm not sure if these pants are from World War II or not. It has no thing in here whatsoever to date them. Besides something that is just out of freaking, I mean, it is faded so horribly. It says, gosh dang, I wish I could read it. Oh, wait, 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 no. Let's see. Woodland. This must be his. Woodland camouflage. Woodland camouflage pattern. So let's see. So I see his woodland camouflage pattern. It's my dad or grandpa's is all I can tell you. And uh, they do have some messy holes in them, but they're uh, kind of, you know, messed up. But they're okay for being that old. These are my dad's. I know that for sure. They have, let's see here, it has the date, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Very, no, I don't see it. It should. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. These are somebody, I remember this, these are somebody's, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it without being ugly. I mean, it's just somebody that that died. I mean, I mean, you can see it says it says Rickard in there, and I mean that's got to be somebody that died or went, you know, went home, and he, you know, he had to have pants. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know of anything else it could be. I mean, I'm not trying to be ugly. I mean, I'm really not. I have to have pants. You have to have pants. Or, you know, somebody gave him some pants. They, they have blood all over them. I don't... I really don't know. But, yeah. See, it says record in there. It doesn't say Richard, it says Rickard. <laughs> it's a weird name, but, you know. You have to do what you gotta do. War is hell.
there's just two, oh, fuck. There's just two more little things in there. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to put it back. Um, the next thing is a tent that's like 20 feet long. And uh, the last thing was another pair of pants. But, yeah, guys, uh, going to end it here. I know it turned out to be an hour long. Last one was 30 minutes. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If anybody actually still was watching, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, and I really hope, uh, to get one or two likes on this and maybe a comment or two. And yeah, guys, uh, see you next time. Uh, peace, guys.